Hello, welcome to Me Meister's 10 Minute Mashup. Um, tonight's game by Accolade is Test Drive. This is on Atari ST. Uh, you can see there it was made in 1987, or can you see it? My camera's a bit squint, never mind. Um, yeah, this game was made with Atari ST, it also came out on the Commodore Amiga. It might have also been out in the Apple or Mac, I'm not too sure exactly. But yeah, this, this game created a bit of a stir back in the day for the simple reason was we'd gone from, you know, 8 bit games like sort of Super Sprint and, you know, very, very kind of basic looking sort of sprite based games. And then when you saw the, the static screenshots of this game, it just looked bloody amazing. I mean, it's probably hard for anybody under the age of about 30 probably wouldn't actually understand what I'm going to say here but back in the day to see the, the picture you're looking at there of that Porsche 9, 911 that picture wasn't possible in 8-bit machines and to see that printed in a, a computer a computer magazine just absolutely blew your mind it's thought whoa this is truly next gen so yeah this, this game came out it's a driving simulator and we shall crack on Choice of cars? Not too sure. I think you'd maybe get, get to pick more than. <laughs> yeah, this this was real state art stuff back in the day. Um, sadly, the game itself didn't quite stand up to the hype, as you'll uh, soon find out. Through the power of emulation, it will speed up slightly. So, yeah, you've got to, you to try and remember. Be, you know, think of a Commodore 64 or Spectrum race game and then you see something like this, this is just like, whoa, you know, first person. Oh, I've just uh, revved, I've just blown the, the gearbox I think. Yeah, truly first person uh, driving, which was incredible. Actually, the game, I remember playing this at the time and thinking it was quite jerky. Now, surprisingly, now I'm playing this under emulation, but this isn't running any quicker than it would in the Atari ST. Let's see what I'm in. Yeah, I'm in the fourth gear. I think there's only four gears in this car. Now, the first thing off the bat is the sound is pretty monotonous. Just got this wine. <laughs> but yeah, I mean this, you know, as I say, it's hard to really it's hard to look at this game and you know and appreciate just what kind of stuff it had back in 1986 or 1987. You know, I mean you're you're driving a real car, you've got real uh, you've got the speedometer, you've got the altimeter, you've got your gas, etc etc. Now I think the idea of the game was just to get to Checkpoint. Now, if I remember rightly, you've got like garages you want to drive to or something. So let's drop a gear. But yeah, the actual background, as you can see, is pretty. It's pretty much like cartoons. It's just the same background over and over and over again. But like I said, this game was uh, when it first came out. Was, now, does that mean there's a speed trap? I can't remember exactly. What speed am I doing? Seventy. Again, it's one of my pet hates with driving games. It's press forward to speed up, go back to slot. If something tells you that flashing light is actually some kind of speed camera, do you get chased with police again? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's you know it's it's pretty impressive when you think about what it's actually doing. You know, it's uh, you've got your mirror there as well. I mean, they've kind of cheated slightly, you're driving around the side of a mountain, which means you won't have to worry about, it's not even roadside graphics, it's basically it's a, a brown wall with little bits of green and little bumps on the wall, moving past to give the impression of speed. Now, being an American game, obviously, you have to drive on the right hand side of the road, which doesn't come easy to us uh, Brits. Yeah, 
even though it was quite impressive looking, it was quite, this is what you showed your mates, really. when you had a, a 16 bit machine and you had a spectrum, this is what you showed to, to show off, it did get pretty boring pretty quick, and then you go 55 miles an hour and I'm about to try and overtake this dude, so all I need to do is pull out and then floor it and try and not fall off the mountain. Oh, he's pulled in for a push. That's quite handy. But yeah, the sound is a bit eh, as you can tell. The road's going to go to a two lane. But yeah, as I say, it's, it's, it's quite impressive. <laughs> Bloody woman driver. Score zero. Hmm. What happens after this? Ah, so you can drive a Ferrari as well. Let's choose a different car. There we go, Ferrari Testarossa. Oh, a lot of Turbo Esprit. Yeah, there's actually a few more. Ah, right, okay, let's go for a Lamborghini. That's my, that's my dream car. Obviously, you know, <laughs> technology has moved on incredibly when you compare this to what we've got now, we've got photorealistic racing games, but I say this is what we had to put up in 1987. Now I think, yeah, this is actually got more gears. You can see the, the, co not the cockpit, what do you call it? Co yeah, yeah, let's call it the cockpit. The cockpit is slightly different, but it's different buttons, different dials. It's also got a slightly different wind. Engine wind. Oops. It pays to pay attention. But yeah, you have to keep your eye on the, the rev counter so you don't blow the engine. You can see there, there's a little red dot on the steering wheel which kind of gives an impression of just how far you're turning the steering wheel. I mean, it's quite, the, the, the controls are quite nice actually, it's not like an arcade game. Well, I mean, it is press left to go left, press right to turn right. It's kind of almost like you can just nudge it and you'll just turn the steering wheel slightly. So it gave not a bad, not a bad control method. As I said, the actual graphics. I would say graphics are pretty poor. Pretty repetitive. Well, they're not, not quite repetitive, they're very repetitive. In fact, I don't think they actually change. Maybe they did because I didn't play this game any great, any great amount of time. Just because I found it quite boring to me, actually. <laughs> now, it must have actually done fairly well on the sales front because I believe there was certainly another two versions, I think it, I think we had Test Drive 2, maybe a minute, is it not still making Test Drives? I think they are, aren't they? They're, they're, I'm sure they're still making Test Drives for the, uh, the 16, not the 16-bit, for the, the 360. Yeah, they are actually, so there you go. This is where it all started, kids. When you guys are playing your Gran Turismo and things, this is what we had to put up with in 1987. Oh, let's get down the gears. There wasn't any other viewpoints or anything. Aye, here we go, pulling into the gas station. What's the matter? Couldn't find second there. Very good, your average speed was blah blah. Right, okay. Let's get this baby up a bit. Certainly got a bit, a bit more impression of speed. This machine. I mean, I'm supposedly doing, I don't know, 100, 110 miles up at kilometres an hour. It probably will be. See if you have spant stuff. Just try and not fly off the end of the mountain. Yeehaw! 
The problem being inside the cockpit like this is hard to actually it's hard to actually get a, any uh, perspective of just how wide your bloody car is. So when another vehicle comes towards you, you invariably die like so. Hey, listen, guys, that's ten minutes. This is test drive by Accolade on the Atari ST. Thanks for watching.